Hey, what's up, guys? This is our fifth JavaScript project. In this video, we will develop a e-commerce project. Yes, through the JavaScript, we will develop e-commerce project. We have shopping cart, and definitely we will place the order also. This project, I got a lot of comment, lot of requests. We need a e-commerce project. So this is e-commerce project. Let's see the demo of it. I made a very simple design guys. This is the four product. Click on add to cart. And once you click on add to cart, suppose I'm clicking smartwatch two times. I got it over here. The count will be increased. Here two wireless earbuds, tracker also, speaker also, and suppose three watch I added actually. When I click on this one shopping cart icon, I got it shopping cart. So these are the three smartwatch and other are the two to quantity. Even I can increase it also from there and here you can see price is increasing and even the count is also increasing we can remove the product from here also and finally we'll do the checkout once we check out we need to write down the name so whatever the name we like it we can write down and this is address abc credit card number something something when i place order i will get a thank you for your order so this is a simple thing we can actually add the product we can actually sync between this and the product list and the shopping cart also and definitely we can show some form and once we submit the form we will come back again the product list we need to clear the shopping cart also now let's start the coding part so this is our fifth project e-commerce and i made a three blank file index script and style and we have few images that we will show as a product item so we'll start with the html let me close the other files we'll start with the html5 template we need to change the title and i'm using font of some cdn guys we should add our scripters also that should be just closing the body just before closing the body next thing is we will add the header this is header guys so header will display on the top and we have one button that we can switch between the shopping cart to the product list also if you wanted to come back and this is our shopping cart icon over here let's run it also parallelly right click open with live server you can use any extension server live light http server or even you can install through the npm also so this is we added the header and definitely right now we does not have any style let's add the style guys this is very plain css you guys can take the reference from the my github link that i will add it into the descriptions one new thing i added actually on the root i'm adding variables in css we can add the variable also and this variable we can use it like event so where whatever the variable name we can use it the benefit of this one suppose i made a primary color i can use it all over the page wherever i like to use it also one more thing guys if you wanted to import the font or some other css library like from the cdn or from over here also we can use through the import or either we can use at the rate use also either of them we can use it use is giving little benefit but we can do with the import it also okay so these are the css you guys can just go through it please let me know if anything you wanted to know from the css or html after saving this file let's see the design of it yes now it's cool now let's make the product list here i will use the main tag html5 introduce the semantic tag header footer main tag sections article all these things we should use it also that will help into uh, seo and that will help into accessibility also when we do the accessibility then we will get one error we should be have one main tab okay we will make a section say over here in the section we will actually write down the product list the product list will become dynamic we will add through the javascript so let's add the first product list in javascript here i made a array of the object and this is all are the data smartwatch wireless means the product list we have it we will make a functions render product or product list this function will call it on the page load only inside in it we will need to render it first thing is we need to render it into product list and product list we have id so that thing we can access through the get element by id also so we'll make some variable product list in this product list first we need to be clear the inner html if something is existing we are making the blank on the page load next thing is we need to run on the loop of the product list we will get the product in the for each loop we will create a dynamic div on this one we will add a class that class name is the product is a class list dot add we can remove it also we can toggle the class also even we can search the class also through the contain method guys so these are the method this is very handy guys you should remember it also another thing is we should be append all the html inside in an inner html and we should use the backtick okay and that concept we called is template literal the first thing is we should be write down the image 
image of the product this will be the image we are using over here alternative text below this one we will add at three tag and inside in it we will add the product name below this one we will add the price in a paragraph below this one we should be have one button and on button we have one event also and this is the event name is add to cart so when we click on the button we are calling the add to cart inside in it we are passing the product id and this is the product id finally all these things we should add into the product list and there we are adding one by one product let's see on a browser and definitely button won't work because we don't write down any functionality but we got a list next one we will write down the function of this one functions add to cart and here we will receive the product id this is product id inside in it so when we click the add to cart we need to increase the count also meaning this count and definitely we need to maintain a list of shopping cart so that we will show the shopping cart over here the below also so first we will find out which product actually user is clicking through the product id so we'll write down constant product yes we need to find the product through product id so product id equal equal to product id one more thing to maintain the cart value we will take one more variable over here let cart equal to blank array we'll store all the cart value inside in it so we'll check if already we push that particular product we should not be push it again we will just increase the quantity only so we'll check if existing item equal to cart dot find product by id equal to whatever the id we got as a parameter if this is the existing item then we'll just simply increase the quantity only if this is the existing item we just simply increase the quantity only if it is new item then we will push the item and increase the quantity also so if the product is totally new we should be add the quantity one only finally we need to update cart also that we need to do next part is we need to write down update cart functions and that function we should call it over here inside net we will actually get the count and we will display this count on the header part also and inside the shopping cart page also there we need to be calculate the count plus total price also first we should be get that element so i'm over here i'm getting the cart count then cart count yes similar to this we need to be use the text content is the property not inner html not value property inner html when we assign a html string to a control then we'll use the inner html value means when we have input control like radio button check box input box such kind of thing then we'll use the value property over here we are just replacing the count property so we will use a reduce reduce is very good function when we wanted to get a scalar value so over here we need to sum of it so one by one cart item will be goes to there each item has the quantity we will sum to the zero so zero is the accumulated value so that is we are actually represented over here total finally we will return sum of it and that will assign it over here so let's test it when we click on add to cart count is increasing but when i click it again the item this is not increasing so we need to fix this one to fix this one guys we miss over here we need to increase the quantity existing product okay so after this one so if we will click it existing product also it increasing and if new product also increasing so that part is done now we need to get total and plus we need to show the item into over here in cart item to show the product list into the cart page we need to be add a place holder over here so we'll make a section and that is also hidden inside it we'll write down one heading that is h2 heading inside it will write down the cart item so all the cart item will be placed inside in it this unordered list so this one will show the total price and below of it actually we have one button and also to proceed to checkout one more section is left that section is checkout page and this is the checkout page so by default these two section will be hidden so once user will click on cart item this section will be display once user on click on check out this button then only we will display this one so guys this is the form here we have submit button on the button click we will show a message and we need to be read the input property also now let's write down the javascript one whatever the object we made on html we will actually get this object in these variable guys and this is simple actually get element by id all the element by id we will get it over here next thing is first we need to maintain the cart item so this cart item we will make it to blank we will create a one variable also that is total we will run a loop of the all the cart item for each loop and assign the value in this 
HTML. And guys, because we need to place the item into this URL, so we require li and we can create document.create element through the any element we can create. So right now we require the li. The so last project we created div. So in this li, we will use inner HTML because here I want to place a HTML string. We will write down the inside grid, we will write down the HTML part. So this is HTML guys, and this is I use the back tick. So through the back tick, we can write down the string into number of lines. So one by one item will get it over here. We will write down the name price item ids quantity and definitely we have the remove button also so this li only we have html now we will actually append this html to the cart item so this is cart item we will append one by one all the li will be goes to the air and we are running on the loop of the every item we can get the total also over here so total is price multiplied by the quantity so suppose we have three quantity and the price is 100 so then it will become 300. So this total price we will show on the card total. This is over here. Now we need to display the card item. We will display the card item on clicking on this particular icon. So we need to write down the event on the card icon click. So this is the card icon click. And event guys, we know about it. How to register the event. We can write down the element and add event listener. On click we wanted to write down. And this is the handler of this functions, event handler. Inside and it will write down. So what we'll do first, we will actually hide the product list. Existing product list, we will hide it. Card sections, we will show it. To show it, if you wanted to hide it, we can just simply add this class. If you wanted to be show particular sections, we will just remove this hidden class. We have total three sections. Two sections we will hide and one section will display. Let's test it. We'll go there when we click cart item is updating when i click i can see this shopping cart and this is shopping cart guys next thing is when we click on this product button we should be come back on the product list page so we'll write down the event for this one also and this is the button show product button we will write down show product button and event listener this is the click only and we can write down function outside also so over here we'll write down show list and this function will define over here functions show product list inside in it we need to write down similar logic only we wanted to show the product list and other two we will hide it so we'll remove the hidden class from the product list and we will apply the hidden class on these two sections so if i go on the shopping cart when i click on the product button i should redirect over here so this is also working in the shopping cart when i click on this plus button the quantity should increase and total should also increase similar to way we can decrease it also and definitely we can remove it also any product from the shopping cart so let's write down the functionality of it button event already we wrote down so we need to be define the function only so first we will define the decrease the quantity so quantity is the one of the property already we are pushing into cart item this is over here so we need to just decrease the quantity and on the basis of product id so this product id we will receive it over here first we need to be from the cart we need to be get the product this is a product yes here we can check the two thing guys if the quantity is greater than one then we can just simply decrease the quantity right and if quantity is less than one definitely the zero then we should be remove that item from the cart also so to removing the item from the cart i'm just making a separate functions over here and this functionality will write down over here so through the cart item if item id is not match that particular product id we will remove it over here finally this function i will call it over here and we'll pass the product type because this function we will use for the remove button also we can just simply update the cart one more thing we can update the cart over here also because here we are directly on clicking on this particular event we can remove it and over here we can update the cart also so either this update the cart function i can move it over here because it already have that is also fine another thing is we need to increase the quantity to increase the quantity i don't need to check the count i can just simply increase the quantity this is simple function first we will find out the product and simply increase the quantity so we'll find out the product we'll get the quantity and update the cart next thing is we have one checkout button on clicking on this checkout button we should be show this section and hide above these two to do this one we need to do similar to this one so we have one button checkout button we will hide these two and show the checkout form. So we have one button also. This is the submit button, place order. So through this button, we can actually submit the form also. So this form can be submittable also. Already we made a one variables for this. So we'll write down the event on it. Add event listener, submit the form. 
and inside in it we will write down the logic definitely we need to be event dot prevent default because we don't want the page should be post back we can show some masses payment proceed successfully that's fine card should be a empty that is right because all the item whatever the card has it should be blank also update the card that is also we want because the view also should be clean and uh, product list hidden should be that is also fine and we can use this way also that is also correct all are the correct but this things already be made separately through the show product so we can use this one show product list so that's it i think we already done now let's test it so we can add the product so go there in the cart we can see can we increase yes is it increasing yes the total price is also increasing and cart count is also increasing suppose i wanted to remove this one this is removed and this one also removed yes this and this both are updating let's click on the proceed to check out we got a form here we can write down name email id address credit card number place and order we got a message great clean we got come back on product list page and this is also clean right now in this project you can improve few more thing suppose if it does not have any product it should be disable user should not be click on this one it should not be redirect also another thing you can make such functionality also add more card you can make the pagination also you can actually write down when i click i should get a detail page that you can show it also through the javascript we can make routing also through the hash routing that is possible so you can download the source code source code link you will get it in descriptions understand the project and just add on your creativity that's it guys next week similar to this one we will make a new project new challenge till the time happy coding see you in the next video